It is a beautiful morning here in Escanaba, Michigan. We ended up staying here six days and had a lot of fun here. Got to do some touring of the area. Got to know Escanaba and some of the folks here. But it's time to move on. And we were lucky a couple days ago, we were on a waiting list for Fish Creek and they called and they said to get us in. So uh, we're going to be heading there. It's about 44 miles. So we'll be starting the engines up here. Got a few uh, things to take care of, but we are ready to move on and we'll see you underway. Yay. Real close to this side. That's great, Sam. Let me check the sailboat on the other side. Looking good, beautiful, beautiful. smooth ride out there today. Right Sam? Now there is mooring balls at Escanaba. Sailboats have been out there. So that's an option if you don't want to be here at the marina. Coming in here we did get fuel and a pump out. Sand's taking it nice and easy going out of here. There is a house on a pontoon base, it looks like. That is one cool ride. Leaving Escanaba Municipal Marina. out there and get the fenders up get my chores done so what's going on now Sam oh gosh a lot of stuff going on up here and we hadn't operated the boat in six days and one of the things that I did was change the transmission oil on the port engine which is the easiest one to do and that was also the one that we had an issue with back uh, when we had our problem on uh, coming out of uh, Port Sanilac and had to duck into Harbor Beach. So I've been monitoring that, was changing that, and then I thought I would change the oil, the transmission oil on the starboard engine, but decided not to because eh, I, I need a, a, a third hand, yeah, or a third hand, or at least a mechanics helper to do it. Um, it's kind of in a weird place, so. Uh, Get a professional to do that somewhere down the line here. It's not a critical thing, but I just could like to match them up within about a week of each other changing. And then uh, just trying to build some situational awareness of what's going on is uh, weather. You know, we've done planning for the next uh, four or five days, which is about all you can do really do as far as where you're going to be. Long range, we did some planning all the way down to Chicago, but we're looking at that. Uh, we really can't get a final plan together as far as what days are going to be there until you know four or five days out. Um, a lot of people were telling us that hey, there's not as many stops on this side of the lake like there is on the uh, eastern side of Lake Michigan. But in my planning and looking through it, it's, I found just as many spots. In fact, I think the longest distance between anything was 28 miles uh, so plenty of places to go on uh, 
the uh, western side of Lake Michigan as we come out of Sturgeon Bay. That'll be the critical point um, as we come out there to head down to Chicago. So starting to think about those things. Um, also, we took on fuel. Uh, so, you know, we switched the tank. So we're keeping up with all that. And then the Coast Guard, they come out with uh, marine broadcast, and so we just finished listening to that. Sometimes they can get rather lengthy, so it's good to have your chart plotter up and see what your position is, so you can kind of take note of what's going on. So just building a situational awareness there, what's going on with the weather, navigation notes, uh, kind of triathlons going on, all kinds of things that are going on as uh, you know, summer is in full swing here uh, in the Green Bay area. So I say Green Bay, and not the city, but Green Bay in Door County and further down um, to Chicago. One of the other things that happened uh, while we were in the Great Lakes uh, up in the Sioux, we noticed our heading cursor was about 30 degrees off and I just kind of attributed it to magnetic anomalies out there. But right now it's about 20 degrees off, so it's kind of corrected itself. And I verified that. Obviously, we have a wind. Turn this down here. We have a wind coming straight out of the front, so I know I don't have that much crab. I also verified it when we were close to land by turning on the radar. So we have what's going on is a heading anomaly of some kind. And what that causes is a map shift, and we can verify that with the radar. Um, so called Garmin. They, call, they called me back. Um, and Garmin's real good about calling you back if you get into the queue and you don't want to wait, they'll call you back. And they did. And so we had a discussion about it. And what has to happen in order to recalibrate calibrate that compass is we have to have some ideal conditions to be able to do a uh, sea trial wizard and recalibrate that. So we have done that once before, uh, actually on Lake Ontario on our first loop going across and did the sea trial wizard and it fixed it. So we'll be looking for an opportunity to do that. You really need a good calm sea state and you need to be able to do a turn at a, a very slow turn. Uh, with some parameters there to correct it. So we may do that someday and uh, get that fixed. But right now I'm just aware that it's about 20 degrees off, not a big deal. So a lot of stuff going on and uh, uh, trip down to the engine room after I changed that uh, transmission oil. Uh, I wanted to make sure everything was good. So went down there, we put on the headsets and I uh, had Rev up here at the helm to get her some uh, stick time, helm time, and uh, she's logging that for her sea uh, experience oh. for when she goes for her yeah, captain's license. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so anyway, it, it can get busy up here. And the other thing that we're looking for out here are uh, fish uh, steaks. Uh, we're, we're not real close to land at this point, but as we get into uh, what they call Door County, we'll start to get closer to land uh, and islands, and we'll be looking out there for uh, uh, fishing stakes that uh, you know could cause you a problem if you run over one of those nets. So you can get busy, but we try to enjoy it as well. Sam has the boat up on plane now, and we are the only ones, I mean the only ones out here today. It has been a nice quiet ride so far, and we are enjoying the time. We are about five miles away from docking at uh, Fish Creek Municipal Dock and have talked to the dock hand there. And so it's our choice of a stern in uh, port tie or a bow in starboard tie. Kind of talk me through. And the way I do this is I read all the notes in Navionics and uh, get familiarized with it. I also try to uh, look up the marina on the internet see what I can glean from it. Um, so Doc Han there assured me, hey, it looks pretty good. So you can start to see some of the scenery out here and this little island that's at kind of like our 10 o'clock, that's Horseshoe Island. And then Nicolette Bay kind of sits back in there and I was kind of scoping those things out because I thought, well, we'd like to stay two nights 
and they can't accommodate us there, we could always go over and drop the anchor at one of those places depending on how the winds are going to come. Either one would uh, serve us well depending whether it's a north or south wind, we can pick one of them. So they, those anchorages are available as well. And I don't see too many boats over there right now. So we're starting to get ready to uh, think about docking and uh, getting in and enjoying Fish Creek. Fish Creek Municipal Dock, Fish Creek Municipal Dock, Warner Vessel, here's to us. Vessel handling Fish Creek, please switch to channel 1212. Switching. As motor vessel, here's to us on channel 12. Go ahead. Yeah, we're just uh, up in no way buoy here, slowing it down, and we're unfamiliar with the marina, but uh, I see two jet skis out there. Is that kind of where we're going to enter in there? For fuel? Uh, negative for docking. Slip three zero. Yes, so um, you guys are going to, do you see the two flagpoles out here? You're going to go to the second flagpole, pass it, and make a right, and it's going to be on your right-hand side. Okay, so the flagpole that's further to the east? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, uh, it looks like a big concrete dock out there, and I can kind of count and pick up the wall there. So, all right, so we'll come around there and then stern in um, with a port tie. Yes, sir, and I'll meet you out there and give you a hand. Thank you very much. Fish Creek back to 916. Yeah, I'm nine and one six. Thanks for joining us on the Here's to Us on our trip from Escanaba, Michigan into Fish Creek, Wisconsin. We not only changed states, but we changed time zones, and we are looking forward to enjoying a night here and afternoon in Fish Creek. See you next time on the Here's to Us. Thank you.